Today's video is in response to a couple of questions I had from the lovely Sarah who I spent the morning with. There were a couple of things that we forgot to cover and Sarah popped them into an email to me post-training and here I am answering those questions. So the first question was how can I move an email back to the inbox without clicking and dragging? Now clicking and dragging is great but sometimes when you click and drag you can find that you drop your email into the wrong folder. To avoid that, I would use the move button and this is actually my preferred method of filing. It's on the home ribbon to the right of the quick steps and when you click the drop down next to move, it will drop down a list of folders that you may or may not have used before. Now I haven't used Excel um, Outlook 2010 on this machine for a while, so I haven't filed anything. I've just opened up the folder list so you can see there are some folders. So if I choose this email here, and I come to the move button, I'll go to other folder, expand the folder list here and decide I'm going to put it in filing and I'll click OK. That email just went. If I go look in filing, there's now a new email there that's not been read because I just set, sent it there. So again, if I come back now and I click on my move button, you'll see it says filing. Now if I've got something in say Helen's folder, that I would like to put back into the inbox, I can click on it in the folder. I can go to move other folder and choose the inbox. And that will pop that email back in my inbox and it will be in date order so it will be way down my list. But whatever happens, you'll see that now when I go to my move button, I've got two folders. So if I file this in, um, let's say in the Shelley folder, and I go look in the Shelley folder, it will be there. And if I come back now to find something else and click on the move button, I've now got a list of three. So that's a really quick and easy way to file. And of course I can highlight a whole block of emails, clicking on the first one, hold down shift, click on the last one. And that's an accurate way of moving all of those into the folder of my choice. So the second question from Sarah was, how can I create a quick email? For example, um, a blank email ready to send to my team. So up here we have the quick steps and there's actually one called team email in this list, but I can't see it. So I'm gonna click the drop down here and there is, um, where is it? Team email. Now. If this is the first time I've created it, which it clearly isn't, then um, because I had created it before, it's got the addresses of the people I want to send it to already there. So how do we create one of those? Well, I'll click this little drop down. I'll go to um, new quick step and I've got some templates here. I can choose new email to I can then say this is to, um, maybe I always write to, uh, I'm going to call it Shelley. And from here, from my address book, I'll pick, if it will let me, I will pick myself, because this is from Lisa Jones. And when I click finish, I've now got a rule here called Shelley. And if I click on that, you'll see that it sets up a blank email addressed to Shelley. If I want one to my team, then all I have to do is go to new email to, and then I have to find the groups. So I've got a group called online or a group called inquiries. So there's inquiries, there's online, and I could have any other sorts of groups that I wanted and I'll click okay. And now when I click on this new email to, it's readily addressed to both of those groups. So Sarah, I hope that was helpful. That's how you create a quickly addressed email. But if we just take this one step further, we can have a look at how to create a, an email template that's already got text in it too. So I'll click the drop down arrow, new quick step, and I'm gonna to go to a custom quick step. This one I'm going to call um, thank you. And the action I'm going to perform is a new email. So this is a brand new email. Now you'll see from this list, it could be a new message, a forward, a reply or a reply all. I'm gonna choose new email. 
Now that I've got my new email ready, I'm not going to address it. I'm going to click show options and in here, I'm going to type my text. Thanks for the training, the session today, whatever it might be. And I'll click finish. Now then to use it, I'll click this thank you quick step and there is my email readily addressed. If I have a signature set up and set to automatically attach, then that will be there as well. It doesn't do fancy formatting, but it takes the stress out of creating those regular emails. So Sarah, I hope that's answered your questions. If you have any other questions, do drop me a line. I'm Shelley.Fischel at the ITTrainingSurgery.com. Thanks for listening.